Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sunkiller, and today I'm going to show you how to make that really cool melodic dubstep drop that you guys saw in the intro. But before I start with the tutorial, I want to give a huge thanks to this video's sponsor, Plugin Boutique. So if you guys don't know what Plugin Boutique, Plugin Boutique is the best source and place to get your audio plugins at a very, very affordable price. They have sales all the time. They give you the best discounts, the best offers. So if there's one plugin that you guys want but don't have the hard earned cash to spend on that plugin, check out Plugin Boutique. So thank you so much Plugin Boutique for sponsoring this video. Anyways, now let's hop into a tutorial. So here today as a shocking surprise, we're in Ableton, we're not in FL Studio. And I have here some VR loops because I'm gonna show you how I made this drop. But before actually showing you guys, I'm gonna play one more time so you guys can hear what it sounds like. So to get started, I'm gonna break down and show you guys from top to bottom what's happening. Started with the drums here, which are very simple. Just some virtualized samples, some kick snares. But we got that really nice um, pattern here. As you can see here, it's a very trappy sort of pattern with the very fast hi-hat pattern every two bars. So it goes here. Very trappy, very nice. Of course, then we added a sidechain, which is just a MIDI clip that's triggering this sidechain here, which is a group with every other track inside that I want sidechained. Sidechain here has a shaper box, which is set to MIDI trigger. And then it has the input. Then I added some background symbols to fill up the space a little bit. And these background symbols are really great. Very minimal processing we have here. Um, that shopping pattern just to make it a little bit more sharp with the shaper box. Some low amount of reverb to not make the sharp cuts so aggressive and then some EQing just to make it only the high end. It's very quiet and this loop is really great. It's from Black Lotus Audio's Horizon Drums. So if you guys want to check it out, link as always in the description. Just continuing over, I have here some ARPs. It's really basic. It's just a saw wave here on Serum, or, or you can do it with any plugin really. And it's just a low pass saw, with a little bit of filtering, some reverb, some delay. And you can do it with any other plugin. You can do it with pigments, analog labs, very easy to do. And now for the more important part, the bases, what you guys were waiting for. And you guys are probably seeing and already caught this VR sample here, this table, it's not being used and I'm going to explain why, because the main bass over here, which is this one, is actually a consolidated sample. So It's already a sample which has a little bit more processing, so it has some resonators to make the melodic um, resonance a bit more sharper. We got some reduced ambience, we got some shaper box to create that more sharp tone just to clean it up a little bit. A fat rack to make it a little bit louder. Some corpus, OTT delay, enhance, which is basically a OTT without the lower area. And some ROM, which is some really nice reverb from native instruments. And so what's happening here is that I took this original sample from VR and I added some processing. So if I group this and mute it, what I did is that I added some pitch map. So I'm gonna delete this pitch map and add it again so you guys can see what I did. I'm gonna go here and add a pitch map. 
and I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna select. So right now, this drop is in D sharp minor. I know this because I wrote it. But since D sharp minor and F sharp major are the same keys, I can go and select F sharp major, set it on the major pentatonic because I found that the pentatonic scales are the ones that give the best results in pitch map. You can also use the blues or the natural, the harmonic, but the pentatonic ones are by far my favorites. I'm gonna crank this up, up all the way to 98%. I'm not gonna touch anything else for now. I'm gonna preview this for you guys so you guys can see what this is doing. <laughs> It sounds a bit weird, and that's because we can go here into the key transform and change the morphing into a different key, and that adjusts and sets the key to the preferred area. So I'm gonna hit play once again, I'm gonna adjust it so it sounds right. <laughs> So once I selected the key that I like the most, I added some EQ, so I'm cutting out the low end because pitch map definitely messes up the low end, and I added a separate sub, which is this one. And so with this patch included here, It sounds a lot better. Then I rendered it, I consolidated it um, by right clicking here, um, freeze track, and then I consolidated it so it created a WAV file. There we go, currently frozen. Then Latin track. And then I just chopped it off, so for example, like this, like that. You guys get the idea. And created this. And then for the fills, again, we added some more VR bases. Same time, same type of processing. I just did a little bit the pitch map, but it's basically the same idea. And some fat racks to make it louder. Reverb EQ here. Just as a compression method, so I'm compressing. And that's basically how I did it. I also added this really cool, very resonant um, sync pluck. Which basically the corpus is doing most of their resonant work as well as with the comp filter there. It's a really simple patch here. The artifacts um, patch here, it's called artifacts because it's a preset for a frequency shifter that I had to do. So I can keep the old frequency shifter since they on the newest Ableton 11. They changed it and no longer is available. So if I delete that and go into audio effects and pitch modulation, they got here this shifter which is completely different to what we're used to. Very, very different. So I can set it here, frequencies, 200 hertz, which was what it was set. 
it still gets the same results, has a different interface. So if you guys don't find your old um, frequency shifter, it's heading here. You just need to do a little bit more work, but it's still there. And you have some really cool things also to work around and play with. So there you have it. That's basically how I did this fun little drop. Anyways, this was my tutorial. So if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. It's always very useful to see you guys feedback, talking about my channel, talking about what you guys like. Thank you Plugin Boutique for sponsoring this video as well as Black Lotus Audio. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.